what's up everybody I am driving to work today I'm gonna talk about screen junkies and their show movie fights I already made a video about them this is I guess a follow-up some months later but first gotta say what's up to my main man Ludwig what's up Ludwig what's up dude gotta go to work dude gotta go to work dude Alright, here we go. Anyway, I'm talking about screen junkies. I'm gonna jump right into it. Yeah, in my last episode I made a I made a video or not an episode, I made a video about how to fix screen junkies movie fights. Don't wanna hash that again. Go watch that. They made a lot of the changes that were obvious, it wasn't just me. But of all the videos of I've seen on YouTube of how to fix movie fights, I think I had the most views and it was in the hundreds. So that's sweet. I, you know what? I think they might have listened because I shoved it in their face on Twitter. But nonetheless, they listened to a certain extent to all of us. And they brought three, three fighters back and they kind of brought it back to the way it was. So I'm just gonna jump right into the show itself because I don't wanna talk about the, the past. So yesterday's episode with Ken Napsok, Dan Merle, and a new woman named Erica in a Riddler shirt. It was sweet. It was as good of, of an episode as I think you can get these days. And especially because it was her first time fighting. You should have seen it. It was, it was Ken Napsok who brought knives. And, and then amazing gunfights between, it was amazing, they were great fights, and it was between Erica and Dan, and Dan, the one thing about him is, even when he's not trying, he's like, you know what, I'm gonna take it easy today, I'm gonna dog it, it's, uh, he, he can't help it, as soon as he thinks that he might be losing an argument, he gets this kind of manic energy about him, it, it's a little bit like, like, like Tom Hanks, I don't know why, it reminds me of Tom Hanks, and he just goes in, and he cannot help himself, and, and sure enough, when, when we get that kind of fighting, it's great. And Erica went toe to toe with him, and then she ran out of words at the end of the episode. And she, you could just see it in her eyes. She ran out of words, but it was just amazing she was able to do so good. Way to go, Erica. You were doing so well, and, and we've seen other fighters run out of words too, and it's just something you're gonna have to learn how to do. And I saw, to a certain extent, Dan Merle, he was on his back, he got knocked down, and he got back up on his feet, and he battled back. And he, won, he ran the table against her and won it, and in my opinion, actually deserved it. And the judging system actually worked the way it was supposed to work. Um, I thought it was a great episode, so I'm just going to start it right off the bat. First, first, first fight, Ken Napsok versus, uh, Ken, uh, so, uh, Ken, Nap, Ken Nap, you guys know who these people are. Uh, it was, Ken, uh, it was, uh, biggest summer movie, and it was Ken Napsok versus, uh, versus, uh, no, the Stark movie. I mean, I mean, why would he pick that answer? He brought a knife. Uh, Incredibles 2 and Sicario 2, and it's the best movie, so it's a little bit of, of semantics because the best is, it's, it, it's more of a quality of the movie and not so much the biggest. So Sicario 2 was actually an inter interesting choice, but then it brought, got brought up that a lot of the pieces are missing from Sicario 1, and yeah, he was basically selling us a gut shot straight draw with one pull on the river. Four cards in the deck, and, and yes, Sicario 2 could be the absolute nuts if, 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 if things fall into place, but Dan tried to sell us a gut shot, and, and Erica and Ken are too smart, they didn't let that slide. So, number one, first round, Incredibles 2-1, no problem. No problem. Second round was comedy sequel that most deserves a sequel. Or a comedy movie that best, most deserves a sequel, and it was The Big Lebowski. And I almost puked in my mouth a little bit when I heard that. And, and then, and then when, he, when I actually heard what his argument, and I got, we got a, we got a, 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 a force ghost Donnie, I, I swallowed my puke back down. I was down. I, I understood it after Ken talked about it, but still, not, not a good choice. That's lightning in a bottle. That's, that's, like, that's like trying to say, let's redo Ghostbusters. Didn't work. Didn't work. And then it was... Well, it's, oh, it was Galaxy Quest, which is an interesting choice, but also to a certain extent, I also think Lightning in a Bottle and the Alan Rickman thing. It was a, it was a, it was. A, I thought it was a little bit of a dark cloud over the idea. And then we got, we had the America World Police, uh, Team America World Police, the South Park guys, and that's a great answer. And the arguing, arguing was great, and they all did a great job arguing their point. Ken Napsok started, he, he threw some haymakers early, didn't work. And, and he was out. And then the conversation got interesting. This is the, was the most interesting round, I think. When, when Erica, and she, she was a fighter. She, she, she was able to pull arguments out of her ass in milliseconds left to go. And anyway, she pulled a, you're gonna do, do it. She pulled a little bit of the SJW argument against Team America World Police, which is you can't do that anymore. 
and and I knew it could probably come up, and then and then Dan and then and then Dan almost like kind of like he knew it was gonna come up too. Answered with yeah, but it could be so no sacred cows. And to a certain extent, he didn't actually answer that question very well. I kept on thinking that he was going to keep going, and then he just we saw the limits of of Dan's brains last night. And I, I don't think he did a good job defending satire. It's how you do satire. It's not that there's no sacred cows. Maybe I didn't quite understand him, but he did not have a counterpunch to the SJW argument, which in 2018 is something that you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do if you want to do South Park too. So boom, he's out. He was on his back. Now the points was so. And, and anyway, she won that round by a landslide. But she's good. And then they did a musical that you want to redo. Ken Napsok said something about when Harry met Sally. No one's even seen that movie. She did Scott Pilgrim, which on first view, on first thought seems like a good idea, but then no, it doesn't work on this on the stage. But you know, nobody likes musicals anyway. This is this was a dumb this was a dumb argument. But I will say the the and then and then I will say that the choice from Dan was perfect, and that's the South Park movie because I would absolutely go see that. So yeah, he won that one. So it's two to one going into speed round. And now this has been a good fight. They're actually arguing. And we're talking about, we're getting like, the order of magnitude of arguments and words was like times 10 compared to previous episodes. So now th this is a good fight. And then we go to speed round and Erica wins the first one, I think. And then I think it's three to one. So now she's got one point to go. And we went through some pretty sweet arguments. And then one of them that, that I remember, was last night, I don't remember it all, was, uh, was Christopher Walken as person to play it, the, uh, the guy, it, you know, the, 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 uh, the clown. It's like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then I forgot what, what Dan said, but Dan ended up winning. And then the very next, the very next, oh no, first it was which who should join the Avengers movie. And then this is when we saw that Erica was running out of steam because she said Liam Neeson from Taken, who was a, you know, it's a kind of an obvious choice. And then... And then so then Dan went the opposite direction, which was to do the not obvious choice, and then it went then it went John Lithgow. And he won that argument. What are these people doing? It's it's there we go. There we go. Go on. Anyway, uh it, it was it was an obvious answer versus not an obvious answer, and Dan won that one. And then the very next question was was who should play it? This should have been one where where Erica knew she had no gas left. He couldn't come up with anything good. She should have then, then stolen Dan's answer from the previous question and then used his own information against him and said, who should play it? John Lithgow. And said, do you remember him and Dexter? He was so good, no one watched it after him. He was so creepy. And, and, and Erica could have won it if he just would have... She had two chances to win this one, but she didn't do that. She picked... It, it was too obvious, and she lost that one. And the final question was, was movie... The best, the best movie with a jungle in it. And Dan, Dan Merle instantly knew the knew the answer and that's predator that's that's predator and she was struggling to think of one and there's there's at this point only one answer i think that's not completely drawn dead and that's the newest jumanji jumanji 2018 in terms of size in terms of scale in terms of box office we're talking like a hundred to one against predator I, I don't know i just made up that that ratio but it's huge and i hate to admit it if you ask the younger generation like 12 15 year olds about about predator they don't hold it up on a pedestal like we do. And, and it's also people that love movies hold that up on a pedestal more than the other general public. So Erica could have easily made an argument, which was the best movie with the jungle. And, and then he, she could have said, well, if we're talking about audience seeing a jungle, Jumanji, it was great. Made, and then used the rock argument. And then said, Predator, eh, only so many people can, can watch that. You know what? It did seem to be very, very male. The males did seem to like that one a little bit more. You know, there's ways she could have gone, but she didn't do that. But still, way to go, Erica. Dan Merle won. He deserved it. The, the, the judging was great. It made sense. And, uh, yeah, no, so now I'm going to quickly talk about how they fixed it. Now they got three. I'm already at nine minutes. I'm going to go fast. Uh, everything's great. I now understand why they don't want Dan Merle judging. It's because they want him fighting. That makes sense. I didn't think of that. Hal is the is the judge because I think one of the responses to Andy's ignore getting fired and then shutting down the... I think that they lost a lot of resources, actually. Now that I've been paying attention, I think they lost a lot of resources in terms of making the videos, and we don't have the choice for NPH anymore. We got Hal Rudnick as our host, and we're just going to have to deal with it, and that's great because he actually figured it out, and he just keeps it simple. 
when 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 Hal Rudnick and the host of, of Screen Junkies is at their best, it's when the host says almost nothing. It just facilitates the fighting the most. And we got some genuine fighting humor last night that was generated from the, the manic energy and the people talking and the show itself and the mechanics of the show. We got jokes, like even the old man SJW argument, that was hilarious. So the show's working, and that, that show was the first time I've seen what I love about Screen Junkies. So I just want to say, good job, guys. I'm sorry for being critical, but I knew you were going to figure it out. I told you in the video you were going to figure it out. Way to go. Bring back Erica. She is a top-tier fighter. We know already. And you know what? These people, they, they always come back stronger the second time. And if she just, like what Dan says, when he when you're losing... Dan, he, he gets into a manic, a kind of a manic energy, but before he does, he digs deep and thinks. And he thinks about what he's going to say, and he has a little bit of pacing, and then he goes. And if Erica just thought, like, for 10 seconds longer per answer, she could have won. But that's just what happens your first time. Way to go, Erica. That was a great performance. And Screen Junkies, I love you guys. Way to get movie fights back, and you know what? Keep that up. And, and just energy. And, and people that are, t are arguing and and when somebody is is let somebody do dominate the conversation if they can do it um, we, we see in life these days that if somebody can, that's part of arguing if somebody can dominate the conversation let them do it and and if it's let's not get people on their birthday Kim not Kim not talk you know he, he wasn't down for a real fight um, anyway been going for 11 minutes gotta go Ludwig what's up dude what's up dude almost work all right I'll be back thanks for watching screen Junkies is great